Hope you're all okay. I just thought I'd do a quick video today showing how to update the firmware on the AOR DV1, um, which is a digital voice receiver. Um, so it, it deciphers um, DMR, uh, Fusion, um, Next Edge, D Star, and other digital formats, uh, including Tetra as well. Um, really handy piece of kit, but it is all software defined, so it does require firmware updates. So I'll show you today how to do it and like just how easy it, it really is. The display looks a bit patchy on the scanner, but that's just an effect in the video. Um, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but there's nothing wrong with the display in uh, in real life. Okay, so the first thing to do is to go to AOR's website, which has all the firmware on. You can see the address on the top of the screen. And this page is the, uh, the firmware update page, and they house all the latest updates on here. So you can see the most recent one from December um, at the top. And that's one we're going to be looking at. And further down the page, they've got all the other ones. But this one at the top is one we want um, today. Um, so if you click on that, it'll bring up a bit of a disclaimer and um, telling you some um, some information about the firmware downloads. If you just click on accept and it'll come up and prompt you to download it. So click OK and then that'll go into your downloads. So while that's downloading, you need to turn off the power to your radio. It's really important that you do that so you don't corrupt the card and take the SD card out of the radio and pop it into your laptop or computer. Okay, so the file should be in your downloads now. You just need to right click and extract that with whatever you use. I'm using Win WinRAR in this case. Um, that'll show the uh, the contents of the zip file. If you click in there, the top file that you'll see is actually the firmware file itself. And you just need to copy that over to the SD card and that you've just plugged into your laptop. So that's going to go back into the radio. Okay, so making sure the power's off and you've put that um, into your radio, you can now switch the radio back on. It just takes a minute or a minute or two to come back on. And what you need to do then is press function and seven, and that'll go into the configuration settings. And it's quite a long list that you need to scroll through. Um, I think there's, there's four sections of this list and you need to go down to system update and then press enter. And that'll read the SD card, and you'll see the S you'll see the firmware that we've just put on the card is there. Press enter, and then that'll go into system update. It's really important that you don't turn your radio off or unplug the SD card at any point during this um, update because it it can corrupt the card or corrupt the firmware inside the radio, um, and it can take a couple of minutes to do. I've had it in the past where I've tried um, where I've interrupted a radio that's being programmed or having its firmware updated. And it can be a nightmare to um, to get back. So just be patient with it. It can take a few minutes, especially if you've not updated the uh, the firmware in a while. Um, and when it's done, the radio will power off and then on again, and you're um, you're good to go. So again, the radio can take a few seconds to come back on, and it'll show the firmware update on the screen there. Um, and that's how you know it's been done. Another way you can check is by going into um, function again and config again and you can scroll down through the list and you can come to the section that gives you your firmware so you can see 1611b uh, that's the current firmware that we just downloaded and updated and you can come out of that and you were um, you're ready to go so i hope that helped guys it is a simple radio to update the firmware on probably one of the easiest i've come across really and um, if you like what you see in this channel drop us a thumbs up drop us a comment any suggestions anything you'd like to see on the channel um, much appreciated below um, and if you've not already subscribed, um, I'd appreciate that as well. It keeps us motivated to keep making these videos. Thanks very much for now, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. 7-3.